I want to be a worker for the Lord. I want to love and trust His holy word. I want to sing and pray and be busy every day in the vineyard of the Lord. I will work, I will pray in the vineyard, in the vineyard of the Lord. I will work, I will pray, I will labor every day in the vineyard of the Lord. I want to be a worker for the Lord. I want to love and trust His holy word. I want to sing and pray and be busy every day in the vineyard of the Lord. I will work, I will pray in the vineyard, in the vineyard of the Lord. I will work, I will pray, I will labor every day in the kingdom of the Lord. I want to be a worker strong and brave. I want to trust in Jesus, part to say. All who will truly come shall find a happy home in the vineyard of the Lord. I will work. I will pray in the vineyard, in the vineyard of the Lord. I will work, I will pray, I will labor every day in the kingdom of the Lord. I want to be a worker for the Hello, 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 hello. It is me <laughs> or Taria. Um, I know my name says Tar Tar Pittman or Tar Smith, um, but just ignore that. <laughs> People call me Tar. Um, and I am going to bring up the lovely, the beautiful sister cousin, Lisa. <laughs> Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You work well, hard. The Lord has blessed you. Oh my yes, goodness. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Me too. I'm excited. I'm up and running. I see your banner across the bottom. Hey. Uh, I'm focusing on that because I'm just here. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. Praise I the did. Lord. Praise yes. Lord. Yes. 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 <laughs> right. we're excited for that. You were yes. so diligent on that. I'm trying to get this glare off so I can kind yep. of see. Yep. Okay. You look lovely. Yeah. Oh, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, the Lord has uh, blessed both of us that we are able to come back and have a discussion. Um, the very first live uh, that we did, um, it was it was wonderful. I do apologize though for the echo. I have learned <laughs> that the echo was caused, you know, by my computer. Um, so therefore, we have gotten rid of the echo. So yay. Um, so really, what we want to do tonight is literally just have a discussion um i have been talking to my cousin recently about how people get so emotional i would say or upset or they find uh religious talks to be kind of taboo and that's kind of what we want to talk about today um because i do know that some denominations they actually tell you know their following um not to have you know discussions debates or or anything like that uh when it comes down to the word of the lord and you know some people just cannot have a conversation about god or religion or anything like that without <clears throat> getting upset so you know we hope that we'll be able to 
you know, discuss this and help people who may be struggling, you know, with talking, you know, to people about religion. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the very thing that that teaches us how to love. I'll say that. Right. And if we are allowing Satan um, to use it uh, to to separate us, keep us separate, mm -hmm. uh, you know, make us upset, then I just don't think that that is, you know, what God intended. I really don't. Um, so that's that's kind of the um, point of the discussion tonight. So if you will, uh, me and my cousin are just going to, you know, maybe run through a few examples and, um, you know, just see if we can help anybody bridge the gap by um, getting some scriptures that will maybe help us, you know, in the future, you know, to understand it's it's vital uh, to have discussions in religion. You know, God has tasked us, you know, to talk to one another, to talk to anybody who will listen, actually, uh, you know, about the good news. Uh, so I'm going to pose a question. Cousin, have you ever had an instance, you know, to where you found yourself more so walking on eggshells, you know, um, in a religious discussion? Uh, yeah, I think that's normal. Uh, because <clears throat> we are taught and um, that if we, we love the Lord, we should love our neighbors the same. And we want to live peaceably among men. We want to come to them uh, humble as we can um, and not cause them to think negative of us or what the, the truth that we're spreading. Because we know... Um, in John 2 4 we know that those who worship the Lord must worship him in spirit and in truth so we're only trying to be in good spirit and bring you the truth of the word not our opinions uh, not traditions of men not rituals not what pastor said or cousin said hey cousin uh, <laughs> not, not of the source we're trying right. to go to the source we know God is the authority we yes. know that he has the final word. He has the word, period. He is the yes. creator, the Alpha and Omega. So when we come, we try to come in love and peace, uh, being as humble and as meek uh, as we can. Mm -hmm. But we must tell you the truth. Uh, we're doing this in love because we, we don't want to, we like God. We don't want to see um, any man perish. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are our brothers and sisters, uh, we, we're supposed to be there to help you, to encourage you, to strengthen you because we do have those uh, that are in the faith and they may get weak sometimes or discouraged sometimes because the, these questions uh how challenging they may be uh they're not always positive they, they could be negative and of course sometimes you you will feel a little bit of intimidation so to speak but we become bolder 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 to stand up with what we believe uh is the truth you first got to believe it because if you don't believe it then there we've already at almost at uh odds with each other and we don't want mm -hmm. to we're just again like i said we're trying to trying to uh show you uh what he says not trying to put a bound on your a yoke around your neck trying to bible beat you or anything of the sort <laughs> love and peace and we're trying to give you the truth of what god said not our truth because we don't have one <laughs> right truth, but he said we are in that instance habitual offenders because we're going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating what they'll say at the lord Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's exactly right, you know, because it's just like with anything, you know, if if you have figured out uh, a solution or you have figured out the secret to, you know, how to let, let's just say uh, save money and budget very, very mm -hmm. well with it. Um, you're going to be excited about that and you're going to want to share that knowledge, you know, with others to help them, you know, especially if it brings you happiness and you're able to budget and, you know, keep everything organized. Um, well, the same thing applies, you know, to the Christian because we understand that we were once a slave to sin. OK, and the only difference, you know, in the Christian versus the non-Christian is the fact that we are no longer a slave to sin. You know, so therefore we're not saying we're perfect and we're not saying that we're sinless. All we're saying is it does not, you know, enslave us like it used to. You know, we're we're literally learning from uh, our past mistakes and, you know, we're striving to be better. We're striving to be Christ like, to be righteous as much as possible on this side of the earth. 
on the world. Um, so with that being said, you would not keep that good news. If I, if I have found a path that leads to comfort, truth, and happiness, um, my happiness will allow me to share it, you know, with anybody else uh, that I meet so that we all can be happy. This is not a crabs in the barrel mentality because uh, Christianity is not like that. Christianity from the, from God's perspective tells us that we are supposed to be the light. We reflect his light through our lives, you know, to the to the rest of the world. And so, you know, he, he even uh, uses an example that if you were to hide a candle under a bushel it does no good you know what i mean because that snuffs out the light um so if we are going to be that candle you know to, in a in a world of darkness then we must be able to talk about god we must be equipped with that love in our heart you know to uh, on a mission to try to save as many people as you know possible um and you know we have to be unafraid and unashamed you know to uh to to stand firm on what we believe and um there's actually scriptures that actually tell us like um mark 16 uh 15 it says and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature you know there are no uh exclusions here you know every of course creatures are not animals but creatures meaning are humans um this is what the lord command this is not a choice this is like a command if you love me you're gonna keep this command right here tell the world so anybody that will listen that's that's the world okay um another uh example in the scriptures that we have about you know um why we are supposed to you know tell everybody as much as we possibly can um, is because it helps um, you in your in your everyday life. You know, if you if you get your your spiritual uh, life together, then it's going to help keep you you know where you're supposed to be, and you will be peaceably among all men. You will be able to walk anywhere you know in this world for the most part, and you know you will, you you will be peacefully. I can't say that they will be peacefully to you, but you will be peacefully to them. So we find that um, we kind of find that in Second Timothy uh, three and sixteen, and this is kind of just telling us what this piece does. It helps all of us, you know, to understand our purpose, to keep us in right standing, to tailor our behavior, to um, adopt that love, you know, learn and grow and and correct ourselves. So it says it reads like this: All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Mm -hmm. So if we love people, we will also give them this secret. This is a, a, a beautiful secret that uh, the health, health gurus cannot give. Uh, you know, that the uh, psychologists cannot give, you know, that the, you know, the ascendant masters cannot give, you know, because this comes from the creator, the, the creator, the source who created us, who knows us better than we know ourselves. And he's telling us right here that the human needs this scripture, these scriptures in order to be happy, in order to be profitable, you know, and, and to be knowledgeable uh, in order to help bring down you know any strongholds or any incorrect information for our own correction uh and for any instruction any uh crossroads that we find ourselves facing we can always come to the scriptures and every answer is here so why wouldn't you tell you know somebody about um a blueprint such as this that helps us in so many different ways we just find that you know we we actually find that taboo when people won't discuss God, you know, because I, me personally, I'm I'm like, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> um, are you not as happy as I am? I, you know, is there is there a lack of knowledge here? You know, is there is there something going on that maybe we can help you with? You know, because um, once you obtain you know the love and the understanding of God, it quite it naturally produces you know. Um, a, a piece that surpasses all understanding. Mm 
you know, and, and it, you can't even put it into words, but it's, it's literally like understanding purpose, understanding, you know, our, our origins, understanding our past, present and our future. It gets no better than that. That is what people pay top dollars for to find, to attain. Billionaires will tell you, uh, mm -hmm. I want to say, I don't want to quote this, this young man, this man, because he's, he's gone now. But I can tell you a, a millionaire um, who everybody knows over, you know, like the computer industry, he actually quoted it. You know, uh, all of his riches could not save him in the end. He had he found himself with cancer and um, he just had a little while left to live. And he realized that none of these things that he had attained, you know, with his wealth were going to help him now because they could not cure his body. Uh, they could not prepare him for his afterlife, you know, and he realized that as he was leaving this world, mm -hmm. you know, so if we can help somebody to understand that now, you know, uh, we can we can save a lot of heartbreak and heartache. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts or um, or, or add uh, add ons to that one, cousin, that you want to um, interject? Yeah, you 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 said pretty much. Um, we're on the same page. I'll put it okay. there. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, awesome. We, we we are trying to understand, mm -hmm. uh, as you're saying, um, like I said, why why people uh, think it's taboo? Why is it always something negative? Why are we always uh, at odds with each other? We can talk about everything under the sun. Oh, how's the weather? How about the <laughs> needs are the falcons are yes. what recipe uh what we gonna do in the garden uh, what about them grandchildren uh, girl how you <laughs> doing over what puppy at? <laughs> yes but when it comes to uh serving the lord we are boy it's it's, it's like pulling uh teeth with the baby's little tweezers mm -hmm. you know we instantly our god comes up mm, the radar mm -hmm. Uh, they're trying to get me, they're trying to psych me out. <laughs> yes. You know, it's, yes. it's constantly, we cannot, I don't know nobody who can make you uh, come over and serve the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. this, this this is free will. He don't even make yes. you serve him. He's a king. Exactly. He can make you do anything if he so chose to. But mm -hmm. you know, he gives you uh, free will, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, if you love me, mm -hmm. if you love me, He's mm -hmm. already showed how much he loves you because he said, mm -hmm. What? His only begotten son? <laughs> yes. He withheld nothing. <laughs> you know? So, 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 having said that, he said, If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Not Tara's commandments. Right. Jesus' commandments. Yep. Your pastor is out. You know, <laughs> um, and that's just the, the truth of it. And you, yes. you have your Bible to mm -hmm. substantiate. Uh, this is your fact, fact checker. Fact mm -hmm. checker. Mm -hmm. There you, you go. Anybody's word for anything, you know. Well, let me go get my Bible. Y'all hold there on. There you go. Hold on. It's Bob. So we got That's right. right here. Yes. It's you. The page is evidence. Gone. A lot. Oh boy, it's just racket, racket. <laughs> Because we stay in it. So, but however, you know, we have to study to show ourselves approved. You know, right. uh, scripture teaches us that, and we need not be ashamed to do that. You That's know, there right. is no shame in loving the Lord and serving the Lord. Uh, studying uh, together with people uh, sometimes can make it less confusing, and it can make it less intimidating. To an individual if you have somebody who's trying to help you and not trying to discourage you uh uh debate debates mm -hmm. conversations uh mm -hmm. they're not always negative they're not always right. we going battle for battle right it's to make you think it's a make a way to make you rethink right it's about thinking you got to be able to yeah. think, uh to obtain the knowledge and once you obtain that knowledge it has to be applied mm -hmm. that's because right them. So we oh, we need somebody sometimes in some instances uh, to help us uh, through with our studies and to know what the Lord would have us us to do. And it's, it's, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be a fight or battle all the time. We just simply mm -hmm. have conversations. 
you know, how yes. and how will you know? You know, we're not trying mm-hmm. to convince you. We can't convince right. you that, that you've already made up in your mind and heart about the Lord anyway. That's right. you've already made up your mind pretty much. <laughs> you know? um, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes that comes with lack of knowledge. You, you don't yes. know. You know, yes. you think you know something until you think you yeah. know it. You don't really yeah. don't know it. But once mm-hmm. you really know it and you're convinced in your own heart, mm-hmm. then you, right. you, you can see things clearly and different. Yes. We say it's still up to you uh, to, to come and seek and find the Lord for yourselves. You know, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Never ever believe or just take a person's word for it, go and seek it, you know, find um, the scriptures and make sure that they align, you know, because that's the only way that you'll know um, that it's coming from God. You know, men, women, we make mistakes, um, but God does not, you know, so that's why we stay in that word. And that's why, you know, everybody who is going to love the Lord must do the same. But just like um, Lisa, just like you were just saying, um, it's very pertinent to understand that in Matthew 10, 33 and 35, it says just what you were just hitting on. But whosoever shall deny me before yeah. men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Amen. If we don't talk about the Lord, if we won't, you know, uh, adhere to his commands, that is that's the equivalent of denying him. I, I want to make that clear plain you know uh people think that denying is just got to be a no or i don't know him or no denying is how you live you deny the lord depending on how you live your life if you do not obey his commandments then you are denying the lord openly because you are rebelling against him and god is nowhere where sin is you know, and so it's it's just like Lisa was saying, you know, uh, we have to we have to understand all debates are not bad. Yes, I understand that politicians debate, you know, government, you know, they debate on a lot of things and vote and all that good stuff that that's but that's another sector. This has nothing to do with the religious debates religious debates are actually healthy we yeah. see religious debates all over the bible people don't understand it what they're seeing but they're seeking knowledge they're seeking right knowledge. That's, yes. that's just the basis of it you mm-hmm. see a knowledge uh that you know you need uh your mm-hmm. body's yearning for something there's a yes. voice there yes uh, so you're trying to gather that information because contrary to what you might think of what you've been told people we we know this for a fact we cannot stay here we have right. to leave at some point in time you don't know when your time will be that's so right while it get still today and you yes. have the opportunity to gather that knowledge with somebody who's here and available who's willing uh no strings attached i mean what's yes free it's free, nothing, nothing. It's free. We, free. We uh spreading the gospel news yes. uh, we, we love it we're passionate about it yes this is yes. pretty much all we talk about yes <laughs> we eat breathe sleep jesus you know we we are a package deal <laughs> we we gotta have jesus i mean there's no way around it you need right it all day you know people right. always um say things oh what are you doing yeah we are girl <laughs> Ooh, I need a plan today. I was yesterday. No, that is true. <laughs> oh, oh, that's true facts. That's true facts. You know, we yes. don't deny that um, uh, because we see that. Yes. But again, you have to study so that you'll know what is required of you to mm-hmm. obtain an eternal life because we that's cannot right. stay here. We don't know nobody staying here. I mean, no. It's Mm-mm. just inevitable. You cannot. So you need that's to prepare. Right. Uh, if you will, because again, we can't make you do anything. That's right. Uh, but we're just so excited about it. Yes. People yes. probably don't understand why we just, we always kick in and cut on and laughing and talking. Can't like, help it. But can't help it. We're just so excited and happy to know the Lord and to know his goodness yes. and what he can and will do for you. And yes. again, we're, we can't stay here. So we yes. are trying to, um, we're doing, we're not trying because that's, yeah somebody who's sick we're not trying we're doing what has required of us to do yes, we yes. would like to share it with others because that's yeah. what we're told to do mm-hmm. 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 that's right recipe you want to share <laughs> that's what? true you be over there munching on something i got what you mean over there like, <laughs> yes. you want to share it but yes. when 
to worry everybody go in their laconas and get comfortable and kick off their shoes and sit back and watch who talking what they're talking about and all of that they don't want to come come in or nothing because i don't want to cause no problem first of all this is your page right each, each of us who have individual pages these mm-hmm. are our pages. that's right and as long as we're doing the requirements of what that platform says if we're on facebook or mm-hmm. youtube or uh instagram or twitter or wherever we are as long as we're yeah. in their guidelines then you have the freedom of right. speech yes you have the freedom of the speech. First so amendment we, right absolutely so why why are you just sitting over there in the corner observing can't right. get the help by observing no oh, but you know such and such and such a uh, uh the lady down the street around the corner where my cousin knows somebody that knows some she was so good that was the sweet as nice as god and looking for the sweetest nicest candies Mm-mm. he's looking for Mm-mm. the obedience the righteous yes those who actually do the will of the father is you know what he's seeking in spirit and in truth and and just like you're saying you know we see it a lot you know not to um not to uh beat anybody down or anything like that if anything we're trying to motivate and encourage you know because you may not even be aware you know that uh you're you're doing this or not doing this um uh, but if you if you just so happen to see me or cousin on facebook or something to that effect it's encouraging um to have you know somebody to drop us a line and say go you know go sisters go you know or or if you have a question you know or something like that drop a line because we we are we are trying to break that stereotype you know that is taboo to to talk about religion we want people to understand that there's love in these type peace talks you know there is uh understanding there's comfort you know people run to the scriptures whenever there's times of trouble you know before people uh even go to concerts they pray you know the 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 the, the, exactly before that football game they pray something going on can you can you pray yes you know so you know wait 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 hold on you you want me to pray for you to a god that you don't believe in or you don't even serve or let trouble hit you you say oh lord jesus but you don't believe it. You don't serve him. Or you over there in the corner being hush mouth because you fear for fear can paralyze you. Yeah. You and you God need- is not giving us the spirit right. of fear. Right, right. For the person who sits over there and does nothing, mm-hmm. that, that's not gonna work with the father. That's right. We have to be active. That song that plays when we are uh coming on to the show, how we, we want work. to be uh, for the Lord, we want to work in the vineyard, we want to work in the kingdom. That's the same thing. That's yep. the venture in the kingdom, the same thing. We we want to do what is required of us. We know we have to work. You can't just get baptized uh, in the Lord uh, for the remission they can see and then go there and sit back. Oh, I've done my part. Ooh, yeah, Your so life sad. just starts. Just starts. Life <laughs> just begun at that point. So you got to get busy. You got to work. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's why we're here tonight. Right? You go to your job and work, whatever they that's can. That's true. Work. If they give you a manual five stars, hi, you, girl, what you doing? Man? I can't tell you not is. I'm so tired. I got two pigs on my ass trying to trying yes. to stay with me a, a pot of coffee. My job, I'm saying. I can't have all this red bottom on, girl. I can't talk with that hundred deal. But when it comes to the Lord, mm-hmm. well, have you read your little Bible study stuff, girl? I don't even know where my book is. Say what? What you love the Lord, or you want to know about the Lord? When the last time you've been to service at Hunter, it's been on Monday, Sunday. Okay, I know when my grandmama died. Say what? But you love the Lord. Are you seeking this information? Mm, kind of out tomorrow, and as you say, cousin, they don't. Yeah, go they don't go together. That go together. that does that can't go together. Right, and right. we don't want to be, you know, hypocrites. And we definitely don't want to hear, uh, you know, depart from me. You know, I never knew you, um, <laughs> on that on that day. You know, so that's why we are here also. You know, we are, you could just consider us as your, your friendly aunties, you know, that are here, <laughs> that are here, you I'm know, sorry. to just, <laughs> we are the aunties. Yes, we are here, you know, to just anybody, we want to talk to you. We want to talk to everybody. We want to talk to every belief system. We want to, you know, let's break down these walls. Let's get uh, to talking. We don't care where you stand. You know, right. let's talk. We're peacefully. You can come here right. um, peacefully. Talk, uh, talk with us. Let's let's exchange knowledge. You know, and stack it up against the Bible and see, you know, where we at after that. You know, and we can be friends. You know, 
regardless, you know, right. because we believe in um, being peaceably among all men. You know, we have to um, live in this world together. Mm -hmm. um, so we are definitely not going to hurt you um, if we can't help you. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those things. So so we just wanted to come um, let you see our, our faces, hear our voices. Uh, this is just, you know, one of many. Um, but we appreciate uh, you and, you know, look forward to to other discussions in the future. Lord's willing, uh, we will be praying, you know, for anybody who will just come, come and talk with us. Uh, you know, it's open. So we love you. Uh, we are going to uh, bid you farewell for tonight. Uh, we might come back tomorrow, Lord's willing. <laughs> but thank you so much. And God bless. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Right. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, girl. Okay.